NVIDIA Blackwell up to 2.2x faster than Hopper in MLPerf V4.1i training benchmarks, new world record set and Hopper now even better. NVIDIA has shared the first benchmarks of its Blackwell GPUs in MLPerf V4.1i training workloads, delivering a 2.2x gain over Hopper. NVIDIA demolishes the competition with Blackwell GPUs, delivering up to at 2.2x gain in MLPerf V4.1i training benchmarks versus Hopper back in August, NVIDIA's Blackwell made its debut in the MLPerf V4.1i inference benchmarks, showcasing strong performance uplifts versus the last-gen Hopper chips and also against the competition. Today, NVIDIA is sharing the first Blackwell benchmarks in the MLPerf V4.1i training workloads which showcase stunning results. NVIDIA states that the demand for compute in the I segment is increasing at an exponential scale with the launch of new models. This requires both accelerated training and inference abilities. The inference workloads were benchmarked a few months ago, and it's time to look at the training tests that encompass the same set of workloads, such as LAMA 270B, LLM fine tuning, stable diffusion, text to image, DLRM V2, recommender, BERT, NLP, Retina Net, object detection, GPT 3175B, LLM pre training, RGAT, graph neural network. These are some of the most popular and diverse use cases to evaluate the eye training performance of eye accelerators and these are all evaluated in the MLPerf training 4.1 tests. These workloads are very accurate when it comes to time to train time, in minutes, for the required evaluation and have 125 plus ML Commons members in the consortium and affiliates backing them up to align the test with the market. Starting first with Hopper. The H100 GPUs are now 1.3x faster in LLM pre-training performance per GPU since their first submission and offer the highest performance in eye training among the stack of chips that are available on every benchmark. With Hopper, NVIDIA also made the highest at-scale submission for MLPerf using 11,616 Hopper H100 GPUs and the chips are data center scale using NVLink, NVSwitch, Connect 7 SuperNIC, and Quantum X400 of switches. Since launch, the NVIDIA Hopper GPUs have scaled up in performance thanks to continued software optimizations within the CUDA iStack, now offering a 6x growth in performance versus HGXA100 and a 70% uplift over the June 2023 submission of HGXH100 and GPT-3, 175B training using 512 GPUs across each set of submission. Rounding up its previous Hopper inference benchmarks, the chips offer 1.9x higher performance in LAMA 3.1, 3x faster in TTFT with GH200 and VL32, and 1.5x faster throughput in LAMA 3.1405B, which once again shows the continued innovations to the software stack. There's a reason why the competition is having a hard time competing against Hopper with their new chips, let alone Blackwell. That brings us to Blackwell, the heart of the next Gen I data centers. Right off the bat, NVIDIA has claimed 7 per accelerator records using its Nixi supercomputer which is built using DGXB200 systems. This supercomputer offers 2.2x faster LAMA 270B, fine-tuning. Pref vs Hopper H100, 2x faster GPT 3175B, pre training, performance vs Hopper H100, and also smashes through the entire set of workloads within the ML Perf Training 4.1 suite. With Blackwell, NVIDIA is not only doubling the performance but bringing an advanced set of technologies which we detailed in the full deep dive provided during Hot Chips 2024. More so, NVIDIA's partners are also showcasing outstanding performance using their Hopper base systems and a total of 11 partner submissions have been made which shows the momentum surrounding Hopper and Blackwell GPUs. The first Blackwell training submission to the ML Commons Consortium, which creates standardized, unbiased and rigorously peer-reviewed testing for industry participants, highlights how the architecture is advancing generative eye training performance. 
For instance, the architecture includes new kernels that make more efficient use of tensor cores. Kernels are optimized, purpose-built math operations like matrix multiplies that are at the heart of many deep learning algorithms. Blackwell's higher per GPU compute throughput and significantly larger and faster high bandwidth memory allows it to run the GPT-3175B benchmark. RK on fewer GPUs while achieving excellent per GPU performance. Taking advantage of higher bandwidth HBM3E memory, just 64 Blackwell GPUs were run in the GPT-3 LLM benchmark without compromising per GPU performance. The same benchmark run using Hopper needed 256 GPUs to achieve the same performance. Via NVIDIA NVIDIA also sheds some light on its early cadence, which doesn't only mean building new chips as fast as possible but also validating them at the data center scale and deploying them faster at the supercluster scale. The green team makes it clear that they aren't just a company that makes chips, but they are a data center solution and system provider at scale. This is why the company has already shared its next-gen iRoadmap featuring Blackwell Ultra as the follow-up to Blackwell with more memory, 288 GB HBM3E, and more compute horsepower in 2025. The Blackwell Ultra platform is expected to use the B300 naming convention. The follow-up to that is in the form of Ruben which comes in the standard flavor in 2026 with the 8S HBM4 and 12S HBM4 variants in 2027. Lastly, NVIDIA confirms that Blackwell is now in full mass production state, so expect it to result in record-smashing revenue and performance figures in the coming quarters.